Uh, today, I would like to talk to you about two technologies that the Central Glass and Ceramics Research Institute situated in Kolkata, which is part of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research in the country, has brought out in the recent past. As you know, fiber laser technology has grown and made dramatic progress in the last few years. We at CGCRI have uh, developed the technology and uh, by taking up very comprehensive program and developed uh, packaged fiber laser systems, uh, both at 1 micron and 2 microns. And these are now available for commercial applications. And what we have done here is we have started the laboratory development of rare earth doped uh, fiber uh, materials in the laboratory. And the project was taken up in the 12th year, 12th five year plan of CSIR. And today we have a state of the art facility set up uh, for this purpose. We have been able to demonstrate this uh, on, a, on a first time basis globally, which is basically the vapor phase doping technique and the reliability of this has been extremely high. We have developed the double clad uh, fibers, which are suitable for uh, high performance applications and this could then be designed can be used for all, all fiber lasers at both 1 micron and 2 microns. The aim further will be to build on this indigenous capability and making packaged laser systems starting from fiber stage onwards for both industrial and medical applications and thereby uh, CGCRL will build on the capability and uh, close a gap that exists today in the country. The second technology that we have taken up is uh, development of a supercontinuum broadband light source and made by using non-linear photonic crystal fiber and this has been developed under the CSIR new millennium Indian technology leadership initiatives and using the supercontinuum broadband light source fiber light source developed at CGCRI we have made a confocal microscope. Today depending on this development the company has received more than 12 uh, commercial orders and uh, this particular facility uh, will be of great use to our scientists especially in the life science area and our, uh, our system now consists of uh, uh, an excitation pulse pump laser, laser drivers, power stabilization circuits and photonic crystal fiber and also the required collimator, collimating optics and power supply. It is packaged inside a box and this light source is then um, works on a 24 volt supply and it, it, it is developed uh, along with this company with a RS232 interface and uh, the product will be will be a multiple applications uh, in the area of uh, uh, biophotonics where broadband sources uh, as a supercontinuum uh, can be used for experimental purposes. This allows you a new way of uh, broad spectrum spectral uh, and illumination sources and the, the technique and the technology we have developed in making the supercontinuum broadband light source will now get into a large number of applications in the area of communications and, uh, and also soon will have its impact in defense technologies. Thank you.
CGCRI has a state of the art MCVD system for vapor phase deposition of rare earth and aluminium to fabricate active and passive fiber preforms. Diligent study since 2010 has resulted in optimized process parameters yielding reproducibility greater than 90% which has not been achieved by any other MCVD process till date. Fiber preforms with diameter greater than 4.5 mm and aluminium concentration up to 17.8 mole percent have been demonstrated. Preforms of various designs have been achieved devoid of central dip and core clad interface defects. Using this facility, CGCRI has successfully demonstrated large core active fibers with uniform dopant concentration and low photo darkening effect for the first time. An output power of 100 watt at 1.06 micron has been achieved. After the preform has been fabricated, the uniformity of refractive index is measured using a preform analyzer. Speciality fibers such as pentagonal, hexagonal and double D as well as multi-core fibers can be drawn in a single tar. Low refractive index as well as high refractive index coated fibers of different designs can be drawn using this facility. Fiber capillaries can be drawn in another tar with a precision of 20 micro. Photonic crystal fibers are fabricated by stack and draw method. Highly nonlinear photonic crystal fibers are fabricated which have application in supercontinuum generation. Hollow core photonic crystal fibers are useful for beam delivery as well as sensing applications.
Subsequent to fiber drawing, fiber refractive index profile as well as the fiber geometry is measured using the fiber analyzer. CGCRI has the facility of lifetime measurements for silver doped, bismuth doped and rarer doped fibers. The fiber transmission characteristics can be measured in a wavelength range between 0.4 to 5 micron. Subsequently, the fiber loss can be calculated in this range by the cutback method. State of the art fiber laser facility for designing and prototyping of high power fiber lasers at both 1 micron and 2 micron wavelengths have been set up. In the past few years, knowledge of continuous wave as well as pulsed fiber lasers has been acquired and implemented towards both basic and application oriented research. The laboratory houses many advanced facilities for the development of CW and pulsed fiber lasers. Time domain, spectral domain as well as spatial beam profile measurements are possible with the available facilities which are useful for the laser prototype development. Aiming towards metal cutting, marking and engraving applications, both continuous wave and pulsed ytterbium fiber laser at 1 micron have been successfully demonstrated. So far in the 1 micron regime, 20 watt of continuous wave laser path and 10 watt of pulsed laser path with up to 8 kilowatt peak power have been demonstrated with different pulse widths and repetition rates in packaged form. Further scaling of power is in progress. In the 2 micron regime, development of both continuous wave and quasi continuous wave laser has been directed towards medical applications such as soft tissue surgery. Diode pumped high power thulium dope double clad fiber laser has been configured delivering more than 5 watt of CW power at 1.95 micron and further scaling of power is in progress. Quasi continuous wave fiber laser which can deliver high energy in comparatively long duration pulses is also demonstrated with watt level average power. In a tabletop setup, launching a narrow ultrafast pulse into an in house fabricated nonlinear photonic crystal fiber resulted in a supercontinuum in the range of 400 to 2400 nanometer with a high power density. The super continuum source can be used for optical coherence tomography as well as imaging. <laughs>